back at Dove Valley 5280 Sports Network. Jake, today we saw players. We saw actual Broncos players in the facility, not on their Snapchat in Europe somewhere, where most amazing. of them has have been spending. Actually, our first player that talked to us, Vaughn Miller, that's kind of where he was this offseason. What'd you get from his uh, his press conference? Well, a couple of things from Vaughn. Obviously, on this second day of OTAs, Ryan, first thing that I got from him was just how excited he is to be back. The second piece was I asked him point blank, do OTAs matter? Does this, right. Is this process important in your preparation for the season? And he said, absolutely they are. And he actually admitted that he kind of regretted not being able to go through the OTA mm -hmm. process last year, which was probably something that he wouldn't have said a year ago. Right. But it's something that he definitely said uh, this year. Now, there, there's no doubt about it that Vaughn Miller is going to be a key piece for the Broncos. The other guy that we heard from, Demarius Thomas today, uh -huh also said uh, kind of similar things about OTAs, but they both said a lot of really good things about Vance Joseph. Right. That was the other takeaway. Vance Joseph, very popular early on in the building thus far. Yeah, uh, I think one of the most surprising parts about Vaughn for me is that he has kind of a question mark coming into the season. No one is uh, really, you know, judging his his talent on the field and what he can do there. But Demarcus Ware is gone. Yeah. So this is a big season for Vaughn. Is he going to step up and be the guy, or is he just going to be a really good player? He got asked that basically point blank: "Is hey, are yeah. you ready to step up and be a leader?" Even got asked flat out about, you know, does he see himself as a captain mm -hmm. on this team? Something Vaughn Miller has never been. But Vaughn absolutely, I think, was was open, was was honest, was excited to be back in the building, yeah. excited to get to work. Broncos today only doing workouts in the weight room. They're working mm -hmm. with Luke Staff for the most part, Luke Richardson, the strength and conditioning coach out here in the weight room, putting that initial work in that's going to lead down the road to actual football activity starting potentially next week. We'll be out here again Thursday, Ryan. There'll yes. be more weight work. Uh, maybe some more other things, but I, I don't think we'll really hear much about real football work until next right, week. Right, that's very true. It's it's still OTAs, mainly just conditioning. Yep. We haven't even had a new draft class nope. uh, on this team yet. So uh, it is kind of still the off season, despite them being back here. The one note that you can take away from today, the Broncos have two pre-draft visits scheduled for the next couple of days. Today, USC left tackle Chad Wheeler Oh, another building. left tackle. Uh, Chad Wheeler, by the way, a guy that I've been talking about since November. You going to hang out? You going to wait for him? Uh, no. Okay. But uh, Wheeler's Wheeler's on my list. You remember I brought Oh, yeah, no. He's cra uh, crazy guy? Yeah. Crazy hands? Crazy, crazy, hand. crazy hands, crazy, crazy guy. Yeah, uh, Chad Wheeler from USC. <laughs> Cam Robinson, the Alabama left tackle, scheduled to visit uh, to tomorrow as well Okay. Uh, while we are not here. So Cam Robinson tomorrow, Chad Wheeler today focus for the organization really does seem to be on finding a tackle in this draft. Wheeler, more of a developmental guy. Robinson, a guy you probably have to take at 20 if you're going to take him. So that's all that's going on out here at Dove Valley. Today. Right. There you go. Like you said, that's all that's going out here at Dove Valley. Uh, for more write-ups about today with quotes from the players from Vaughn and DT, make sure you read his article. He'll be tweeting it out sometime this afternoon. For Jake Marsing, I'm Ryan Green. This is 5280 Sports Network.